Hello everyone and welcome to day two of Advent of Code. I did not wait for your reactions to day one, so I just hope you're enjoying this because I'm gonna keep doing it. Day two has the headline dive. Now you need to figure out how to pilot this thing. And if you don't remember, we're on a submarine. It seems like the submarine can take a series of commands like forward 1, down 2, or up 3. Forward X increases the horizontal position by X units. Down X increases the depth by X units. Up X decreases the depth by X units. Note that since you are on a submarine, down and up affect your depth, and so they have the opposite result of what you might expect. The submarine seems to already have a planned course your puzzle inputs. You should probably figure out where it's going. For example, forward 5, down 5, forward 8, up 3, down 8, forward 2. Your horizontal position and depth both start at 0. The steps above would then modify them as follows. You like add and subtract numbers from it. After following these instructions, you would have a horizontal position of 15 and a depth of 10. Multiplying these together produces 150. Calculate the horizontal position and depth that you would have after following the planned course. What do you get if you multiply your final horizontal position by your final depth? And then we can get a puzzle input. Alright, so... Let's get the input and copy. And now on our Colab instance, we can create a new file. Input txt. And save all of this. Okay, let's keep the file on the side. And again, similar to the start uh, of last day, we read all of the lines. So, with open input txt, and we want to open it in read mode. As if we do f dot read line. Save that, and then, alright, let's save them as commands, and do entry, was it strip? Or entry in lines. Let's just was without underscore, that's fine. Let's see, yeah, this looks good. Um, the last entry, let's maybe look at that one. Yeah, there's no new line anywhere, that's good, okay. So, I decided to save the word and the number both in just a command as one, and then I'll just take them apart uh, when I need them. Let's go back. We start with a horizontal position and a depth at zero. So, horizontal position and also are both zero. And now we can just loop through all of the commands. So, for command in commands, then for each command we will check if 
forward in command we want to or we just do direction and amount and then we can do command split on white space do integer of the second part and take the first part as it is and if it's forward then we increase the horizontal position by a given amount and else we decrease the depth, right? Yeah, up decreases your depth. Okay, so depth will be decreased by the amount or if supposed to multiply these for the answer. Oops. I wanted to put a text here. Let's copy this. Enter it as our answer. Submit. That's the right answer. You are one gold star closer to finding the sway keys. Continue to part two. Based on your calculations, the planned course doesn't seem to make any sense. You find the submarine manual and discover that the process is actually slightly more complicated. In addition to horizontal position and depth, you also need to track a third value, aim, which also starts at zero. The commands also mean something entirely different than you first thought. Down X increases your aim by x units. Up x decreases your aim by x units. Forward x does two things. It increases your horizontal position by x units. It increases your depth by your aim multiplied by x. Again, note that since you're on a submarine, down and up do the opposite of what you might expect. Down means aiming in the positive direction. Yeah, down increases and up decreases, so that's like, okay, I got it. Now, the above example does something different. Then they give you an example of what we've previously seen. And after following these new instructions, you would have a horizontal position of 15 and a depth of 60. Multiplying these produces 900. Using this new interpretation of the commands, Calculate the horizontal position and depth you would have after following the planned course. What do you get if you multiply your final horizontal position by your final depth? Right, let's go back. So this here was part one. And now we will take all of this. And then here we will do Paste the above, and now we need an additional value. Aim, which will be zero. And now, in forward, we also increase the depth, right? Yeah. Now in forward, we 
also increase the depth by aim type so the amount and now up and down uh, change the aim and not the depth alright, let's run this again and let's get again the depth and the horizontal position which now is a very big number that I will not try to say but we copy it and input it into this and that's the right answer you are one gold star closer to finding the sleigh and you have completed day two alright, so I will again, this will be again on my GitHub here Chroma code ASMR on GitHub in the advent of code uh, repository you can check it out if you want to and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and we will continue with day three